Hey, good morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosso. Welcome to Wednesday morning. Welcome to a lot going on in the weather department across our skies. You saw my headline there. We could have northern lights. Uh, what has happened is a explosion, what they call a coronal mass ejection, occurred yesterday on the sun facing the earth. So the prediction is that the main burst of that energy will arrive tonight. Uh, I have a story up on that on MLive. So if you search MLive Northern Lights Torre Grossa, I'm uh, sure you'll be able to find it. That would produce Northern Lights tonight. And fortunately, we actually have a chance of some clearing skies and then also tracking the snowstorm, which we're going to talk a lot about here. So here we go. Let's get into it. And by the way, I got a real needy beagle at my feet <laughs> today that just you know how sometimes they're just like kids and, you know, just constantly bug you? So, bagel. Um, he's not happy down in the office. He's not happy upstairs either right now. All right. So, a lot of clouds around right now. Should see some breaking in the clouds as we go through the day. And that bodes well for trying to see the northern lights tonight. And then you can see... Storm systems out west, and those are the storm systems, a couple of them, one in the southwest, one in the northwest, that are going to uh, team up and head our way. Hey, good morning to everybody. Hi, Alice Wilson, and good morning, Carol. You know I never try your name. We're just going to call you Carol B. Um, so let's look at the comparison between the European model and the US model. Now here's the scoop right now. There is a difference. The big story, the main big picture is it looks like a solid swath of snow. I'm calling it probably a four to eight inch snow band where it's heaviest will come across somewhere from west central, southwest, lower Michigan, across the middle of lower Michigan and to the northeast. It's still in question exactly where, and I'll show you what I mean here. Uh, let's get into it, and let's look at the European model first, which is a little colder. And what that means is the storm is a little farther south, and the rain to snow line is a little farther south by, oh, maybe 50 miles or so. Okay, And that's what we're dealing with right now, fine-tuning it to the tune of 50 miles or so. So this is, uh, this is Friday evening. Rain developing. This is Friday night. This is Saturday morning. This is Saturday afternoon. That's when the colder air starts to come in, according to the European. And that's where you see the rain snow line. Okay, on this one, the rain snow line from um, Sandusky to Flint to Kalamazoo. Bear in mind, Detroit, Ann Arbor, Jackson, all of you are in either scenario in the mostly rain situation. Hey, good morning, Ryan Lynch. Uh, and Lansing is on that rain snow line also. Yes, Alice Wilson. Um, Tim Hall, Big Rapids in this case would be solidly into the snow. So this would be Saturday night, uh, overnight Saturday night, Sunday morning and off. Now, and this is why I call this situational forecasting. I've done this for a long time, since 1989. This is a, a moving storm system, not slowing down. So that gets us to four inches and tough to get to eight inches in a lot of places. So I would focus on four, five, six solid wet inches of snow. Now, let's go to the U.S. model, which has been good. And this is the first snowstorm in the Great Lakes this winter, so we'll have to see how things go. What happened last year at this far out would be the GFS would be a little north, the European would be a little south, and they'd meet in the middle by the time the proper forecast uh, came along. Okay, And so that may be the case again. Now, this is Saturday morning. This is Saturday afternoon right there. Okay. So now look at the rain snow line on the U.S. model. It's from oh, Northern Bay County through Mount Pleasant to Big Rapids. So, like I said, about a 50-mile difference. 
Alicia Bird Johnson, I would say Flint, no, not four inches. I think Flint is going to be, you know, on the rain, snow, um, you know, you might be one or two, but we got to see how this thing tracks. But Flint is going to have a hard time being mostly all snow, I would believe. And Bobby and Ypsilanti, you're probably looking at mostly all rain until it changes to snow showers uh, Sunday morning and then ends very quickly. So this is Saturday night, Saturday evening. And again, there, the rain snow line, um, Ludington, or Pentwater, I should say, to Mount Pleasant to the Tawas area. So let me just give you kind of a comparison here, if I can, of the same time period. Uh, bear with me. Okay, so there is the European model, Saturday evening at 7 p.m. And then here is the U.S. model. So see that shift right? See that shift right there? Uh, Jerome Smigelski. We'll get to Alpina here in just a second. Uh, you're all snow in Alpena, but you're on the northern edge of the accumulating snow. All right, so here we go. Uh, I'm going back before I even show you any numbers. A few things, remember. The meteorologist, the human meteorologist, says it's a four to eight inch snow. The models may be overdoing it, um, and they typically do. They get what we call meteorological cancer on snowfall and they continue to forecast escalating amounts, and it usually comes down. Remember, I wrote a story about that last week because somebody in all this raw data of a, of a snow system a week out showed the GFS and the European with 20 inches of snow in places in Michigan. And remember, I said, no, not that far out. So this is a four to eight inch snowfall probably. And we'll use the models just to see where they say the heaviest will be. So you're looking at the European here. Again, don't look at that 11 because it's going to be heavy, wet snow. It'll compact. Call it where the purple is. Call it a four to eight inch snow on the European. Okay. So that is, um, you know, north of Flint, through the Saginaw area, through the Thumb, up to Alpena, back to Grand Rapids. I think that is too far south. Here's the GFS, the U.S. model. Thomas Weed, Farmington Hills should stay mostly all rain unless it changes dramatically. Okemos, the same thing. Marsha McKinnon, Muskegon, you're right on the verge. You know, so... We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to just keep watching this. Now, this is the US model, and look at how much farther south it is. I'm just gonna to toggle back and forth, you know, like the eye doctor does. Is this better here? Is this better here? Is this better here? So this is the US model. It's again heavier. It tends to be colder sometimes, develops too much snow, and it's farther north. Its snow band is from uh, the north side of Bay City through Mount Pleasant to Big Rapids northward. Again, I think we're probably going to see a merger of the two, a compromise, which would put it, um, you know, north side of Grand Rapids to southeastern Saginaw County into Huron County. From there northward, about four to eight inches, probably out of the Traverse City area. So probably somewhere from Saginaw, north of Grand Rapids to Cadillac uh, to Alpena somewhere in there. Uh, Karen Zonder, Grand Rapids, a tough call right now. You got to bear with me a couple of days. Um, and, you know, I'm going to say Grand Rapids is probably going to be just into the warm side of the storm and on the lower amounts of uh, snowfall. Ann Arbor, Kirk A., Probably Ann Arbor staying mostly rain until late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. And then you only have about six hours of snow showers after that. Usually that leads to an inch, maybe two inches, something like that. Byron, same deal. Um, <laughs> Chad McGee wants snow. A white Christmas. Uh, Sherry West, is Lapeer getting a lot? No, Lapeer would also probably be in the warmer sector. Alma would uh, probably be, you know, on the southern edge of the heavier band, 
um, of snow. Uh, Grand Blanc, probably too far south. So I've given, I've given you some specific cities. I probably shouldn't be doing that because, remember, we don't know exactly where it's going to be. We're comparing the two. If you're just joining us, we're comparing the two. And what we know is that it's a four to eight inch snow swath across somewhere in lower Michigan. Um, we don't know if it's Cadillac, Alpena, south to Saginaw, or if it's a little bit farther south than that. And so you got to keep tuned in. Um, there's the update for today. Thanks for joining me on the M Live Morning up Weather Update. About the best I can do for you right now is tell you to watch it, tell you some areas in the far south probably cannot get into the snow. Some areas north of Traverse City probably not cannot get into a heavy accumulating snow. And the areas in between, that's where we have to watch it, and that's a good brunt of the folks that are watching here right now. So thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. You know there's more with this one. I'll post on it today. Watch for the Northern Lights tonight. Watch for more info on that. And here we go. About three or four months of nice, fun work for meteorologists such as myself. Take care. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Have a great Wednesday. Stay here with MLive. We'll keep you updated on the possible solid significant snow.